What's up guys, welcome back to episode 2 of the Tycoon series. In this video we're going to be going over the owner door, the owner value, and we're going to be laying out the base of our Tycoon. The first thing that we need to do is go ahead and insert a part right here. With this part, let's go ahead and design the floor for our Tycoon. If you do need help finding out the size of your floor that you want to make it, it's good to go into the avatar tab, open up the rig builder, and then inserting a block or your own avatar and finding out the size compared to that. But personally, I think about 70, 0.5, and then about 50 or 55 or so is about good size for our tycoon here. So if you would like to go into the properties, go down to size and change that size up to the numbers I just gave you, you should have a decent sized floor for your tycoon. Anyways, let's go ahead and get our owner door set up. Before we get the owner door set up, there's one more thing that we need to do, is just grab our floor, name it to floor, and I'm just going to move this over to our main items folder that we have right here. Now we can go ahead and get busy with our owner door. So if we insert a brand new part right here, and I'm going to make this part a nice gray color, we can get working on our owner door. A few cool tips for making an owner door is that if you want to make sure that it's in the direct middle of your tycoon, you go over to the model tab on the top right here, go ahead and open up the align tool, and then clicking on the owner door first, and then the floor, going over to X and Z. And that will go ahead and align both of them exactly square with each other so that they're both right in the center and then you can just move this over to the edge. So I think that this will be our owner door for today. I'm going to make the transparency just over to about a 0.2 I think looks about good. And then you want to go down and of course make sure that this is anchored and the can collide is turned off. Once again you do want to make sure that you do the same thing with the floor. You want to make sure that it is anchored. Now that we have our owner door part right here, you can feel free to customize this and revamp it however much you like to, but I'm going to rename this one to owner door, just like this, and then I'm going to press Control G to group it as a model, and I'm going to name this to owner door as well. So now we can put the owner door model inside of main items just like this, and I'm honestly thinking of renaming this from owner door just to door. All right, so now we've got our part named door inside of our owner door model, and we can actually go ahead and get scripting. So if we open up our scripts folder right here, go into the core script, and let's go ahead and get scripting our tycoon. So first off, I'd like to start off with a few variables right up here. The first one is we're going to get our tycoon model. So our local tycoon will be equal to our script right here, dot parent, which will get us to the scripts folder and then another dot parent to get us up to the tycoon model. Now, of course, we could do game.workspace.tycoons.tycoon, but then whenever we go ahead and duplicate our tycoon, we'd have to change this script for every single tycoon that we make. The next thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is get a few variables for all of our folders. So local main items will be equal to our tycoon. And I'm gonna say find first child and we're going to name this to main item. Now we have our main items folder referenced right there. We can go ahead and get our owner stuff completed. So we're going to go ahead and say main items dot owner door dot door dot touched. We're gonna connect a function to that with the parameter of hit just like that. We need to X out of this script right here. We need to go down and do server script service and insert a script into there. This script we can name to leader stats just like that because we're going to be making some leader stats for the player. We're gonna say game.players.player added connect function player just like this. And now we need to make some leader stats for the actual player. So I'm going to say local leader stats will be equal to instance.new folder, comma, player, right after the quotation mark. Now we can say leader stats dot name will be equal to lowercase leader stats, just like that surrounded in quotations. So now we're going to go ahead and make a brand new value to check if the player already has a tycoon or not. So we're going to say local has tycoon will be equal to instance dot new. This will be a bool value that we're going to parent to the player just like what we were doing with leader stats. Now we can rename has tycoon dot name equals to 
has tycoon and has tycoon dot value will be equal to false automatically. So now we have our value right here, our has tycoon value. We can X off the leader stats right here and we can go back to our core script. One more thing we need to go up here is get our values folder as well. So local values will be equal to tycoon find first child values right there. So now we have our values folder, our main items folder, and our has tycoon value created inside the player, we can go ahead and finish scripting this owner door. So first off, we're gonna go ahead and check if values.ownerValue.value equals equals to nil. This way we can check if this tycoon has been claimed or not. If it hasn't, then what we're going to go ahead and do is say our local player will be equal to game.players, get player from character, hit dot parent just like that. And then, if it was a player that touched that, then we're going to check that if it was a player or not. And now we can go ahead and say if player find first child has tycoon dot value equals equals to false, then we are going to go ahead and do this. We're going to grab our values and our owner value dot value and we're going to set this to our player right there. So now if we close the script right here and click on play, let's go ahead and check that if this worked or not. So if we open up the workspace inside of Explorer, go into our Tycoons folder, the Tycoon model here, inside of values and then go to owner value, we can see that the value is still blank. Alrighty, that was my mistake. Inside of our leader stat script, I had has tycoon with a lowercase h, but inside of the core script, I was looking to see if the player had a value named capital H has tycoon. In order to fix this, we can just go back into leader stats and make this h into a capital h, and let's go ahead and click on play. Once again, go into workspace, tycoons, tycoon, values, and then owner value. We can see that if we go ahead and press the owner door, your avatar name will pop up into the value of the owner value if you did this correctly. Now for a visible assurance of our owner door working, I've seen other tycoons add a little surface GUI onto our part here. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing we're going to go ahead and do is grab a surface GUI. Actually, Let's go ahead and do it this way. I'm going to press Alt to grab the owner door. I'm going to press Control 2 to move it up to the Move tool. I'm going to press Control and D to duplicate it. And then I'm going to go ahead and move it up on top of the door like this. I'm going to scale it down a little bit and I'm going to move the transparency down to zero. Now this door I'm going to rename to Title because we're going to put the Surface GUI on top of this part because I think that would personally just look a lot better. So now inside of title, let's go ahead and add in a surface GUI. And inside the surface GUI, let's add in a text label. If the text label doesn't show up on this side, you can go ahead and mess around with the face property inside of the surface GUI and change that up if needed. Otherwise, inside of the text label, I'm going to customize this a little bit by setting the background transparency up to 1 so we can't see it anymore. I'm going to set the size up to 1, 0, 1, 0 so that takes up the entire size of our face right here onto the title part. And then down the text properties, I'm going to go down to text scaled so that our text will be bigger. I'm going to change the font down to Fredoka 1, and I'm going to make it white so that it will not blend in so much with the gray background. And then inside the text label, I'm going to insert a simple UI stroke just to get that nice outline around our text to make it look a little sharper. Now what we can go ahead and do inside of our core script, and then we can go ahead and write this right here. So main items owner door dot title dot surface gui dot text label dot text will be equal to our values folder and then our owner value dot value dot dot and then we're going to go ahead and write apostrophe s and then tycoon so that way we'll basically put our player's name right there and then we'll go ahead and grab this word right here which is basically this person's tycoon and one thing that we do need to make sure is that we write to string right here so that we'll go ahead and write what we are telling it to do correctly so let's wrap these in parentheses just like that and here we go 
Let's go ahead and click on play and make sure that this is working properly. Now, as you can see, when I claim this tycoon, it now says Rusty Silly Bands Tycoon, which is perfect as that is what we were telling it to do. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video just as much as I did, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. If you have any ideas, suggestions, or anything you'd like to add to the tycoon, or just any video ideas in general, make sure you leave them down in the comments. Anyways, goodbye.